We are in Qatar, as you guys can know, I bought a new, a nice new t-shirt. How much was the t-shirt? It was like 48 Qatari reals. Yeah, man. And I have some money in my pocket, like, let me see, let me show you guys how much I got on me right now. Not much, not much, but something, something, something. A little something, something. It's 10, I have like 100 here, 100 real, something like that. Not much money, but just a little something to play with until I go to Somalia tomorrow. Uh, I have a couple hundred dollars for Somalia, so that's fine. Hopefully I don't get robbed. You know, hopefully someone doesn't put a gun to my head and tell me to give me the money, give them the money. And then I'll give, if they have a gun, I'll give them the money. My life's more important than a couple hundred bucks, but... <coughs> if that happens, I'm fucked. <laughs> if that happens, I'm fucked. I should probably, yeah, I mean, I'll probably put it on my mobile phone. I'll buy one of those brick phones and shit. Yeah, I'm just heading to the mall right now. I'm gonna go buy some stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just on the other side of the road there. I remember where the, where the, I remember where the currency exchange was. It's this way. It's nice and warm. And there's a lot of hot girls here, but I'm not exactly chasing women in Qatar. Yeah, that's not. That's smart, you know? It doesn't make sense. Not really. It don't make any sense, brother. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Cyclists dismount. But yo, like, they made me strip down it before I arrived into this country. And they checked everything for, I don't know, drugs. They thought I was a drug dealer or something. Do I look like a drug dealer? <laughs> I smelled a little bit like marijuana because I didn't... Yeah, that, that, that was my fault because I did smoke a little bit of a joint before I got on the plane to come here. So, my fault. I take responsibility for that, of course. I mean, I can't blame them for, for doing that. They thought, yeah, you smell like marijuana, bro. Of course, they're going to check your asshole to see if you have drugs in there. <laughs> yeah man I mean it was kind of dehumanizing in, in some ways right because you're, you're you're made to get naked and then someone checks your ass like that is dehumanizing to a certain extent right it is dehumanizing to a certain extent to happen to shit ours man yeah you know it's like Obviously, I shouldn't have smelled like marijuana. This place is super loud. I have to scream. Uh, the cars are mostly always like well, Toyotas. Mostly Toyotas. Or Kias. I don't really see too many BMWs or Ferraris. Yeah, but Qatar is tiny. It's a state state within a state <laughs> is it a banana republic i don't think so i don't think so i think it's a very powerful state <coughs> yeah i think so i think so the sun is definitely bearing down i gotta be careful Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith. <laughs> that was a leap of faith. Right there. Damn, I almost fell in here. Look at that. Yeah, to buy some new shoes. That's true. Yes. Look at how many cars there are. The building is fucking massive. Yeah, I'm staying in that hotel over there. Strato Hotel, you see it? There? It's like 100 and, 180 reals per night. 
so like 40 euros or something like that somewhere around that number which is quite pricey but if you compare it to the Netherlands the Netherlands is like 100 euros per night so it's cheaper than the Netherlands that's for sure all right we got the green light baby let's go we got the green light we got the green light 